Ta da! <coughs> I tried doing the second one. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I get the right wrapper off first. There we go. What a basket case. <clears throat> Try it again. I've heard this phrase many times from stray dogs and cats. Let me stay. Psalm 27. One thing I ask from the Lord, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. As they made their way toward their car, Xander escaped his mother's arms and made a mad dash back toward the church, back toward the church doors. He didn't want to leave. His mom ran after him and tried to lovingly <coughs> wrangle her sons so they could depart. When his mother finally scooped four-year-old Xander back into her arm, back into her embrace. He sobbed and reached longingly over her shoulder toward the church as they walked away. I didn't grow up in a church family, so I don't know if this is legit or not. Kids I grew up with, they were never crying about going back to church. Xander may merely have enjoyed playing with friends at church, but his enthusiasm is a picture of David's desire to worship God. Though he might have asked God to thwart his enemies for his own comfort and security, David wanted peace to prevail so that he could instead gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. His heart's desire was to be with God wherever he was and to enjoy his presence. Israel's greatest king and military hero intended to use peacetime to sing and make music to the Lord. We can't freely worship God anywhere, for he now dwells within us through faith in the person of the Holy Spirit. May we yearn to spend our days in his presence and to gather corporately to worship him with other believers in God. Not the walls of a building, I'm sorry, let's do this again. May we yearn to spend our days in his presence and to gather corporately to worship him with other believers. In God, not the walls of a building, we find our safety and our greatest joy. I never understood that, gathering corporately. That might just be, you know, promoting going to church, which is fine. When have you experienced a passionate yearning to worship God? What keeps you from experiencing that more frequently? Maybe what I mentioned in the previous video. I'm scared. <laughs> Father, you're my delight and my joy. I long to worship you without distraction or interruption. Or my own personal issues. Let's see. I think that was it. Um, I don't have much to add to this one. I will point one thing out. David, let's see here. David, his heart's desire was to be with God wherever he was and to enjoy his presence. Israel's king and military hero intended to use the peacetime to sing and make music to the Lord. A video I did previously about <coughs> David and Goliath, and I, remit, I mentioned it made me think of this. They used, they used to send David out, or David would be called in to, I think it was King Saul, who was being tormented by the Lord through spirits, and King, uh, David would play his harp. There was my dryer. 
and it won't shut off. David would play his harp, and it would relax him. It would scare off the uh, uh, spirits. And I mentioned there's a song written by, I said, David Cohen. It's Leonard Cohen. And it might be called Grace or it might be called Hallelujah. But it's a great tune. And it's kind of about David. He played a certain chord and all this kind of thing. It's a really, really incredible song. Leonard Cohen, I think it's Hallelujah. But it's actually done best by, uh, I can't think of the guy's name. Anyhow, I'm rambling. Love you, God bless. <laughs>